Hello everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. It's a very chilly lunchtime here in Belfast and we've made our way to see these guys, mm -hmm. Flout Pizza. Now looking at their Instagram, um, it really does look like a pizza that could rival the giants of the world stage in New York. Um, New York, New Haven style, they do it all. Very, very talented bunch by the look of things. I'm so excited for this. This really is the North Star of our trip. Excited. Hello. Hey, man, you're right. How are you? Nice and cold. Hello, it's Food Food Club. Hello. Um, yeah, yeah, this is Billy as well. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming. That's all right. Pizza for me is the god of all foods. Um, it's uh, the most elemental of all cooking. So I've got a flour mill, mill cinnamon flour, it's all sourdough. So from that flour, I can create a starter. I can make dough, I can feed that dough. I can get local produce and make something different. So for me, that's the inspiration behind this is making a unique and distinctive product. Um, the best pizza in the world for me is also Cross Atlantic. So in America, there's tradition, innovation, heritage, and those things really sing to me because I don't really believe in authenticity. I think there's no such thing as authentic, and I'm never going to try and be authentic because the second you take a thing outside of a place, you can't do that again. Mm -hmm. So I want to make a Belfast pizza. It's inspired by my islands over America. So hopefully big and crispy and you know flavorful, made with love, everything else. So very good. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Do you actually uh, mill your own flour? A percentage of, so it doesn't sit to do it all, because you've got to get consistency of protein levels and all the rest of it. So, but that's clinical dark grain wheat that I've, I've got that's been milled into the dough you're going to taste today. I think that's the first. Yeah, there's six different doughs. Six, six, di wow. six different pizzas in it, so it's like a so. What an amazing place. I feel like we're there, sort of a, It's got a vibe, bruv. I just want to eat it out of his hand, literally. I want my I mouth. Want to try like, did you see that? Did you I want to try one of them. Yeah, I want to try one of them. I feel like a seagull at the seaside now. I need to add a bit out of his hand. That looks sensational. I need to try that. Billy, are you trying one? Mate, I, I can't wait. I'm dribbling from my mouth and other areas. If you're excited to see this pizza, please like and follow for more right now. Save it, share it. Because I think something about special is going to happen. <laughs> All local flour, so it's lower in hydration than many would be, or lower in um, proteins, which means it's more relaxed, it's harder to work with ultimately. Again, Irish mozzarella. We cut this in house on our slicer so we can get the wow. consistent thickness. In here, there's no heating because the place doesn't have heating. I couldn't afford it if we did have it, to be honest. You know, everything's from Gumtree apart from the oven, which is a spaceship. <laughs> so this is a uncooked sauce. I don't use any cooked sauce for tomato at all. Uh, somebody asked me if you've got gar uh, allergens for garlic. But yeah, everything in here is good garlic, so I use a lot of comfy garlic and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's comfy garlic in this sauce. Some other things, but there's only like three or four ingredients, but I like it really bright, but also pretty flavorful. It's the second type of Irish mozzarella. This one's from Toonsbridge in County Cork. <laughs> Not always round because it's super high hydration dough, but uh, yeah, I've never seen it's that. Handmade. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a pizza like made like that before. That was actually that was special watching you do that. I enjoyed that. You've well, seen a pizza like that before? No, never. Never. It makes me nervous because uh, you know early oven bake. I don't want to burn the bomb, you know. But I like heavy char, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I used to work in advertising. I moved to another job, coronavirus hit. Uh, I lost that job at the same time as we had a cancer diagnosis at home. 
there were four of us, and you know, the only thing that matters is just. I had this brand about four years ago, always wanted to do it. Price to regret is far too high. Mm. There are worse things in life than failure. So I just thought our savings went into this one man band. First five months I did it completely alone, which is mental. But I couldn't show anybody else what to do if I didn't have to stay in. And also I couldn't afford staff. So here we are. We've got a couple um, of amazing guys. Has it been a success? So I never know. I never know what that what that looks like. So a year ago, it was, oh yeah, yeah. I'll never have any regrets. I love it. I work the shops open 12 hours a week, which people can't believe. They're like, what? But uh, so we're two hours today, and uh, but there's like 60, 70 hours a week for me. Seven day a job, week a job. Seven day weeks for me. Um, I don't. You know, I love it, you know. I live 10 minutes up the road, call down here, do some dough, go back up home. I could take my kids in the school run, come in here. And it's gonna grow, it's definitely gonna grow, and it has grown, but it'll grow, do whatever the way I want it to grow, you know. It's a uh, Thursday lunchtime and you're busy. No, it's quiet actually, because it's first, yesterday's first day back, I didn't really communicate it very well, and I knew you guys were coming, so I was thinking, you wanna manage it? Just to make you feel a little bit more at ease, I also feel nervous. Yeah. When we come to special places, I think I've got a job to do as well, and it's sometimes difficult for me to get over as well. So, it's you're not the only one. So it's, but it's also difficult because I think pizza is perceived in a bad way. You know, there's too much, there's a lot of crap pizza out there, it's overpriced. Yeah. And people's expectations of what pizza is. So, yeah, like, you know, I don't talk about prices because it is what it is, you either want it or you don't want it. But yeah, it's. Uh, what, what is a? What are you? What are you? What is a large? So that piece? is 26. Yeah. So it stretches out. You know, it's always the same amount of dough, but it's 18, 20 inches. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a good meal for four people. I always count it as you know. When we said four people. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> so what got you into pizza in the first place? I was always into food. Um, got a wood-fired oven off Gumtree. Okay. And that was just, I love really complicated, I love things where you can really get into. And that's why it's called Flight, because you know, pizza has rules. I hate rules and convention. Do your own thing, <laughs> like the rules. So for me, it was about how can I make something completely unique, completely distinctive, one of a kind stuff. And pizza is the number one thing for doing it. Not as round, but they're always handmade. There you go. I'm not putting this in a box, because boxes are coffins for pizzas. <laughs> I'll have it on the tray now. Yeah, that's okay. Oh Please God. don't talk loads and let it go cold and soggy. Because again? Don't, don't talk loads and let it go cold and soggy, because it's not cold and soggy at the minute. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Right, thank you for coming. I'll see you in a second. Yeah. I'm nervous. Hurry up and eat it! <laughs> I don't know if you got that, he said, hurry up and eat it. Callum, let me present to you and the world flout here in Belfast. Unapologetically himself, his rules, his way, and I think that is that looks sensational. one of the most spectacular things I've ever laid my eyes on. Will this taste as good as it looks? Okay, let's go. That huge piece of comfy garlic there. Wow, three types of cheese. I love yes. that it's not a perfect circle. I love it, it's just, like you said, handmade. Huge. Oh. How is a piece that big holding firm? Look at the cooking as well. Oh. Look, under, look at the cooking. Oh, it looks you hear this crunch from underneath? Oh yeah, we can hear it. I've got goosebumps, bro. 
That is... Well, I've got a tear in my eye, bruv. He loves what he does so much. He really cares. And he's produced this. This is spectacular. Wow. Why is it spectacular? Simple answer, the dough is uh, magic. It is absolutely fantastic. It's light, soft, Ooh. crispy, perfectly cooked for me, not overdone. The cheese. is magnificent and that that tomato sauce has that zip it's got garlic in there this is an iconic pizza we've traveled far and wide bro and uh Breathtaking. We literally had the idea of coming for this pizza. It's why we're, it's why we're over here and it's just struggling to put it into words right now. It's just, it's, this is why we do it. This is why we do what we do. All right. Now we've got to give the man a score. Where are you going? That uh, is the question. And these scores, these reviews really matter to people. Um, so I'm a bit nervous. I don't take this lightly, people. You know, it's it's really a real big deal. Jesus Christ, Gallum. <laughs> Is it better than you expected? Yeah. Okay. God, I'll come into it. Okay. So the big question here is, will this pizza get into the nines, into that elite category? And for me, it won't. Um, it's not in the nines. I'm sorry to say it, but this is a fucking 10 out of 10. Oh! <laughs> you know, you scared oh, me there, you God. scared me. I was like, no. This is a perfect 10. Beyond words, for my palate, this is my perfect pizza. Woo. This is my perfect pizza. Irregular, beautiful, special in every department. I cannot fault it. I urge you, if you're watching this now, share this, tag someone, do something about it. Spread the love because Belfast, the home of the Titanic, has an absolute Titan on its hands. So at the beginning of this video, I alluded to the New York, New Haven, inspiration, whether this stacks up. If only you knew, people, this really was everything I dreamed about. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, we're gonna go and scram the rest of this and probably have some more pizza. A few moments later. All right, cool, so that was amazing. We come in now for a bit of a decompress and we scram the rest of the pizza. Callum, did you eat? Yes, I did. Did you, uh, can you verify? It was mine? sensational. Sensational. Now, um, I've got the New Haven slice. That's, you can't, pretty much, I'm just, you, can you get it outside of North America, New Heaven's uh, This? Uh, no. 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 The only place. So we're gonna have that as well. We have to. Don't, never seen it made, never, no, never no, tried so, it, so, so interesting. let's go find out. It's a really tricky deal to make because in New Haven, it's a super high hydration, bromated bread flour. <laughs> bromated isn't a good thing, we won't do that. So I use a very high hydration. Um, so made with flour again from can Ireland. I've milled some stuff into this myself again. So just start, this is a different dough. Different dough, so it's 10% more waterness than the last one you had. Okay. Which makes it really difficult to handle. You also shape it a different way. I'm going to get something here, but you shape it a different way. So.
pad it out, which is what they do in New Haven. People are going to start doing this now because they see me doing it. <laughs> but, hey. That's what I did wrong the last time. But it stretches out really easy because there's so much water in it. Wow. So, people were like, where's the mozzarella? Where's the cheese? <laughs> and it's not under the sauce. It's a huge piece of coffee garlic. In yeah. The you gotta sauce it right at the edge. So I like this because it's the purest pizza. Tomato, dough. Parmesan I use, that's all that's in it. A lot of sauce. Yeah, I need a lot of sauce in this because there's no cheese, so it'll rise. Which it might do anyway, it's still fine. Massive chunks of garlic. This is a first. It's really hard to do that. Oh, look at that. There you go. <laughs> uh, we give it a go? Yeah. Go on then. Go on then. Mm. Soup, one cheese and one onion just, yeah. Is that like Yeah, so it's like maybe Magnificent. The sauce is outrageous. What a fantastic product that is. Is that a big seller? It's like an off menu thing. So I'll do slices. Evan likes a tomato pie slice. Evan's Evan's other half likes a tomato pie slice. Evan's American, so he knows. Here's your oh, spicy kings. I'll set it there. Recommend a bit of stracciatella, hot honey, yeah. parmesan. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Tried it, yeah, but by looking at it, it's too well. Yeah. Where did the stracciatella with hay? There you go. <laughs> Mate, cheers, mate. I'm gonna Thank right. you, sir. Yeah. Look at that. So this is your best seller? This best seller is called Spicy Kings. So it's it's a, it's a riff off the Spicy Spring from Prince Street in uh, Manhattan. So they do a Sicilian with loads of pepperoni. It's the best pepperoni I can get. Um, I did it in a, it's, it's kind of like a Detroit style, but Detroit pizza has rules. Like all pizza has rules. I hate those rules. The one rule I follow <laughs> is using the Detroit style pan, but I use different dough weights, I don't, I use a par bake, um, different temperatures, different ingredients, so it's a completely different thing, but it is riffing off that spicy springs, so I call it spicy kings. Amazing. Oh, it's too hard. It is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Thick, it's dense, it's juicy, tasty, vibrant, meaty. Oh, just fucking like orgasm in my mouth. <laughs> See, it's Big Daddy B, pubs and Matt on a mission. To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?